Hey, it's Jana from The Doll Stitch. Today I will take you along for another sewing vlog where you can watch me record a podcast, do some thread shopping, perhaps getting hands of a couple of issues of Boda Style, sewing some buttonholes, yes, again, up and loads more. So let's go! Now I'm sitting here in my sewing corner and preparing for the podcast interview. I'm actually doing an interview with a Swedish sewing podcast called Sy and Spretta, which translates into sew and rip, and well, that's what we do a lot, right? <laughs> and well, the interview will be about sewing active wear, and well, I feel a little bit nervous, uh, but hopefully, when it's for once, I'm actually talking about sewing in Swedish it will be a bit easier than than what I'm normally doing when I try to speak English about <laughs> all sorts of sewing stuff. So I just need to set up now and wait for the Skype call and start recording. Now the interview is over. I think it went well. Uh, I do feel a little bit of heart racing as I always do when I am um, interviewed and stuff like that. Uh, I'm, so I'm sitting here with my we recorded in two different uh, units, uh, so I recorded the voice into the cell phone and then I had the interview in the other one. It's time to get dressed for the day. It's finally, finally, finally summer weather, so I will go into my wardrobe and pick up one of my numerous summer dresses. And I think I go for this one, which is a Berta style dress made out of rayon jersey. It's really loose fitting and wonderful to wear so that's what I'm gonna pick I think. This must easily be the hottest day of the year. It's really really warm. I'm still wearing cardigan because I am a bit worried about burning my shoulders. Now I am off to the prettiest looking notion store in Gothenburg which is called Knapp Carlson and I will buy some thread for the buttonholes and possibly also some buttons for the Liberty Lawn blouse that I'm making. So now we're going for a tram ride. Mm -hmm. to my next stop for my running errands day and I'm going to the local library where they usually have a good selection of Boda style issues. I'm making a pair of cigarette pants from the June of 2016 issue so hopefully they have it in in store. I should have checked beforehand but you know that's how it is. Well, that was naive of me to think that the issue would be in the library. Of course, it was out. Someone else had borrowed it. I need to order it and wait a few days. And well, then I can start working on my cigarette pads. Another option is to order it on the Burdestad side, from the Burdestad side. I might do that as well because I really want to get so now and not wait for perhaps a week. I'm finally home again. And here is the Liberty Lawn blouse. The print is called Pegalia. It's one of my favorite Liberty print and the second blouse that I'm making in this particular fabric. And here is the bag with the buttons that I bought and hopefully they will match. So let's take a look. I wanted something that was discreet but still has some distinct. So the brown circle is something that picks up the brown in the print. So I always like to work with contrasting buttons. So I don't really do plain white uh, if it's just a blouse and stuff like that. But I don't want too much of a statement button this time either, so that's, I think this will be nice. They say it's the first time for everything, and this is the premiere for me using the buttonhole cutter. I have always used the seam ripper, I listened to the podcast Sewing Out Loud, and they said you should use one of these. And now I will try it. I'm a little bit nervous, but I've done a sample. And well, let's see how it goes. Apparently you are supposed to either just chop it like this if the buttonhole is big enough and if not, you're supposed to open it slightly edge from edge like this. Luckily this buttonhole is pretty much exactly the same of the knife, so let's push. Ah! Oh. Feels a bit stiff, I don't know, maybe. 
So you have? Nah. All right, I need to do this differently. All right, attempt number two. I think you really need to push it through like this. I'm, I'm happy that I have a cutting map, but to be honest, I think I should have used some kind of board underneath here. All right, second try. <gasps> Ta da! <laughs> now the buttonholes are done and it went really well. I love this new cut, it was actually quite easy to learn. Even the second buttonhole worked so well. The only trick is that you need to push it with some firmness. However, of course, I'm a little bit silly because I bought buttons, but I forgot that this blouse also has cuffs and they obviously need buttons too. So now I need to return to the same store again and buy two more buttons, but that's too late today. So I will have to do that tomorrow. So I can't really finish the blouse today, but almost finished. Ah, <sighs> well, I think I'll call it a day right now. Uh, if you haven't already, please check out my Patreon page where you can support all my sewing vlogs and sewing tutorials. It's patreon.com slash lost stitch. Link will also be below. And if you are curious more about making buttonholes and using the buttonhole cutter, I have also today filmed a tutorial about how to sew buttonholes my top tips and that will come up shortly and and then I will add the link in this video as well so stay tuned for my buttonhole tutorial thank you so much for watching and following me along this day i look forward to taking you along for another day soon bye bye <laughs>